year, we generate 20 to 50 million tons of electronic waste, cell phones, laptops, computers. If these items end up in landfill, they contaminate soil, groundwater, creating a threat for human health and the environment. So in response, governments have been imposing regulations, regulations that hold producers responsible for collection and proper treatment of a percentage of these discarded items. We call this electronic waste, e-waste regulations. 25 states in the US have such regulations. And this sounds like a great idea on paper, but we, in order to understand the three implications and if these regulations will be effective or not, we need to understand how market would react to them. Over the past few years, my co-authors and I have been researching this issue in a series of projects. So these regulations assume that it is costly to collect and recover e-waste and unless regulated, nobody would do so. Uh, however, this is not always correct in today's market. Advances in recycling technology, changes in product design, as well as significant remaining value in uh, discarded electronics attract a lot of competitors in the market, such as independent recyclers and remanufacturers, companies like Gazelle or Nextword. In our research, we study this competition in a regulated market. So we find that when there is uh, intense competition for the collection of these products, such as in the case of cell phones, uh, regulation can lead manufacturers to increase their acquisition price uh, when they are meeting the requirements, and recyclers in turn may back away and reduce their collection and recycling. And this will lead to an overall increase in the amount of e-waste going to landfills. In another research, we studied the competition in the sales market, the competition between new and remanufactured products. And the remanufactured product market is a multi-billion dollar market, including many independent remanufacturers. In these markets, requiring manufacturers such as Apple and Samsung to collect and recycle a higher percentage of their products can backfire because manufacturers will reduce their new product manufacturing when complying with regulations. And this implies fewer opportunities for independent remanufacturers, and this will lead to a reduced level of reuse and recovery. So investigating the interplay between regulations and different types of competition uh, help us show that regulations can have unintended consequences such as reduced level of landfill diversion or uh, product reuse. Our research helps policymakers, but more importantly, it helps industry when firms need to argue against questionable regulatory implementations.